Honorable Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang laid the foundation stone of Kali Darshan Yatra at Gadi under West Pandam constituency. The function also had the presence of Honorable Speaker SLA Kam Area MLA Sri LB Das, Honorable Minister for Tourism and Civil Aviation Department Sri BS Pant, Honorable MLA Rinok Constituency Sri BK Sharma, Press Advisor to Honorable Chief Minister Sri CP Sharma, Advisors, Chairpersons, Chairman, along with the public of West Pendam and Rinok Constituencies. It may be mentioned here that the Kali Darshan Yatra project will be developed by Tourism and Civil Aviation Department and would comprise of a walkaway with flat stone pitching along Gadi Ale Bhir leading to Kali Devi Mandir through a tough rocky cliff Gadi Bhir of 300 meters approximately. Development of cave area, landscaping and beautification at takeoff point and mandir area. Thereafter, Honorable Chief Minister along with other dignitaries attended an official function at Government Primary School, Budang. While addressing the gathering, the Honorable Chief Minister said that the foundation stone of Kali Darshan Yatra was laid with an aim to develop a walking trail from Gadi Bhir to the mandir which passes through tough rocky cliff. This place has huge potential of strengthening the economy of the people as well as in generating employment opportunities, he added. He said that the state government has been working collectively for the development of rural areas and also suggested ways and means to explore the tourism potentials and include the region in the tourism map of the state. While speaking on the education and health sectors, the Chief Minister stated that thrust has been laid by the state government to improve the educational and health sectors in the state. He further added that despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the government has been working tirelessly for the collective benefit of the general public. He informed that the present government has opened three dialysis centres at the STNM Hospital, District Hospital Gazing and District Hospital Namchi recently. He further informed about the establishment of first tertiary cancer care centre at STNM Hospital Soketang. He also added that the present government has worked diligently to set up the first viral testing lab in the state as well. He also informed about the intensive care units which has been established at Gazing and Namchi hospitals. He also stated that the present government has been working tirelessly to upgrade the quality of education in schools and has initiated several measures. He also highlighted on the Mukhya Mantri Jeevan Raksha Kosh and health insurance scheme started by the present government and also mentioned that till now more than 1200 persons have availed the health insurance scheme in the state. He also mentioned that the state government is providing financial support to the poor and needy to address the dire need and necessity during any sickness. The chief minister also highlighted the schemes and policies of the state government like the enhancement of the old age pension, launch of Sikkim Garib Awaz Yojana, upgradation and strengthening of roads in all constituencies, incentives under agricultural and dairy sector and other schemes for the benefit of the people. He also informed about the project in the pipeline to address the issues of scarcity of water in central Pendam and Budang areas. He specifically urged the public to follow the official guidelines of COVID-19 and also called for strict implementation of the standard operating procedures. He concluded his address by extending the same greetings to the people of Sikkim. Mentioning this occasion as a historic day, Honorable Speaker SLA Sri Elvidas in his address welcomed the Honorable Chief Minister and thanked the public for their overwhelming support and bringing the government into power. He specifically pointed out that the development should be done on the basis of priority. He also extended his gratitude to the Chief Minister on behalf of the public of Central Pendam for providing financial assistance for the maintenance of Kali Mandir. He also highlighted and spoke on the concept of Rogi Kalyan Kosh and added that the dedicated website and app will provide more transparency. In his address, Honorable Minister for Tourism Sri B. S. Pant highlighted the state government's plans and visions in tourism sector. During the function, Principal Chief Engineer Tourism and Civil Aviation Department Sri Pakash Chetri presented the technical report on the Kali Darshan Yatra. This was followed by the felicitation of Honorable Chief Minister by the public of Budang under Rinok constituency 
Nishani Kali Trust and Sunakari Club Central Pendam. On the occasion, Honorable Chief Minister also launched the Rogi Kalyan Kosh website www.rkkwestpendam.com, an app developed by creative group CIPL Kolkata. He also presented a cheque to Sunakari Club Dhap amounting to Rs 15 lakhs. On the onset, Honorable Chief Minister visited and offered his prayers at the Shiva Temple at Karmithang and Tashi Palin Gumda at Sajong Monastery. Earlier, MLA Renok constituency Sri BK Khatiwara presented the welcome address. The function ended with the vote of thanks proposed by Chairman Housing Board Sri Karmatashi Bhutia.